If you organize your Civil 3D projects into sheet sets, you're probably familiar with the concept of fields. Fields represent smart text objects that populate automatically when they're added to a sheet set. On occasion, individual fields may present a challenge when they're linked to an empty or unknown value. That's because fields have an inherent need to show something. In this session, we'll learn a trick for displaying empty fields. On my screen is a layout representing some general notes. If I zoom in on the lower right corner, we can see the fields that were assigned to this layout. These are the fields that populate automatically from the values assigned to a sheet set. Over here to the left, you can see I have a sheet set open. Let's take a look at its properties. I'll do that by right-clicking on the sheet set name, and I'll come down and choose Properties from the menu. If I scroll down, you can see I've already filled out many of these values. Let's click OK. At this point, I'd like to add this layout to the sheet set. I'll do that by clicking and holding on the Layout tab, and I'll drag this up and drop it in the sheet set. I'll click Import Checked, and then I'll type RE and press Enter to do a regen. Notice how those properties were passed to the fields. Now let's zoom in on the sheet number. This is displaying as a row of dashes. That's because this field is currently empty. Let's take a look. I'm going to right click on the individual sheet and I'll choose Rename and Renumber. Here we can see the empty field. I'm going to make this Sheet 2 and I'll click OK. And then I'll regen to clean things up on screen. So fields don't like being empty. Knowing that, let's take a look at these. These fields represent the initials of the people who designed, drew, and checked the items on the sheet. Currently, these are displaying as X's. Instead of the X's, I'd rather have these fields appear empty until such time as I'm ready to add the initials. Just for a second, we'll go back to the Sheet Set Properties, and you can see where those values were originally assigned. Note that these are considered Sheet Custom Properties, meaning that once they're assigned, if I want to change the values, I'll need to do it at the individual sheet level. Let's do that. I'll click Cancel. I will then right-click on the individual sheet and choose Properties. At first, it may seem that simply clearing these fields would produce an empty value. Let's click OK, and I'll regen. As you can see, instead of getting what I wanted, I'm seeing the same dashes that we saw earlier with the sheet number. So, how do we create an empty field? To do that, I'm going to go back in time. Let's remove this sheet from the sheet set. I'll do that by right-clicking on the sheet, and I'll choose Remove, and I'll click OK. Once the sheet's been removed, we'll go back to the Sheet Set Properties, and then instead of using these X's as placeholders, I'm going to add a pair of percent symbols for each of these values. When passed to a field, this text string will cause the field to appear empty. I will then click OK, and then we'll re-add this sheet. I'll drag it up and drop it in the Sheet Set. We'll choose Import Checked, and then I'll Regen. And I now have exactly what I'm looking for. Finally, we'll practice good form. We'll fix the sheet number. Once again, I'll right-click on the sheet. I'll choose Rename and Renumber. I'll set that to 2, and I'll click OK and Regen. After seeing this, if you like this technique, I would recommend using it in your sheet set template file, such that it applies to all future sheet sets. So when you're creating fields, remember that you're not required to use placeholder text. By simply adding the percent percent string, you can create nice, clean fields that only display data when you want them to. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.